Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Evan Nanga Kimbo, I am Christian, and I am passionate of faith in God, business and personal development, and science. This channel is designed to help Christian believers to grow in their faith and to achieve the plan of God for their lives. But first of all, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video because it will oblige the algorithm of YouTube to spread this message to more and more people. The topic of today is related to my visit to the DMZ. It was really a very interesting experience and it allowed me to understand some spiritual aspect of our Christian life. That is why in the video of today, I want to share with you what I learned from this visit and what it could bring to our spiritual lives as Christian. Now, let's dive into the topic of today. Good morning, guys. It is uh, 7 3 a.m. this morning, and I'm going to the um, uh, DMZ. It will be a great experience. Let's go together, and after that, I will tell you what I learned from this experience. See you! The Korean Demilitarized Zone, DMZ, is a border barrier that divides the peninsula rightfully in half. It was established to serve as a buffer zone between the countries of North Korea and South Korea under the provisions of the Korean Armistice Agreement in 1953. It was an, agree an agreement which was established between North Korea, China and the United Nations Command. The demilitarized zone is actually one of the last remnants of the Cold War. When hostilities ended between North and South Korea in 1953, the armistice that both sides committed to did not fully end the Korean War. Then it is important to say that there has never been an official end to the conflict and technically until today North Korea and South Korea always remain at war. Even so it remains one of the most dangerous places in the world. Today the DMZ receives at least 100,000 tourists every year. During my visit, my group and I, we couldn't go to the GSA, the Joint Security Area, which is the most important and famous part of the DMZ. Rather, we visited the civilian control line. The civilian control line is the buffer zone that falls south of the southern limit line. It is barbed with wire fences and manned with military guard posts. During our visit, our guide told us that the war happened a beautiful Sunday morning. And as you can understand, it was simply because North Korea wanted to conquer the whole country. And for us it is an important lesson because we have to remember that Korea had been visited by the gospel even before the Korean War even before the end of the monarchy in Korea. And you have to understand that at this time, South Korea was really and powerfully visited by the gospel. 
because South Korea was under the American occupation and then there were a lot of missionaries and there was also the spread of the gospel. But during this time, North Korea was under the rule of communism and it is always active until today. Then you have to understand that it was not just a physical attack which happened during the Korean War. It was also a spiritual attack because the devil wanted to destroy this nation. And that is why we have to understand that as children of God, the devil will always try to achieve his ministry into our lives, which is to destroy, to kill, and to steal. But as children of God, we must be aware of the spiritual warfare that exists between us, the Church of Jesus Christ, and the devil. That is why it is important to understand our authority in Christ, so that we be vigilant and so that we destroy the works of the devil. The second teaching I received from this visit is that peace is extremely important. As the Bible says in John 10.10, 10, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Amen. From this passage, we can understand that the plan of the devil is always to steal everything the Lord gave us. And in our lives, as children of God, he will always try to steal the peace of the Lord. And when there is no peace in our hearts, we cannot pray with efficiency. When there is no peace in our lives, we cannot have a good spiritual growth. Then it is really important for us, as children of God, to preserve the peace of the Lord. Because when we have this peace, we can hear better and better the voice of the Lord. Then, when you see that the peace of the Lord is threatened into your life, when you see that the devil wants to steal the peace of the Lord into your life, you have to use your authority in Christ to rebuke the actions of the devil. That is why you have to rebuke any fear, any confusion, any disorder into your life, so that the peace of the Lord comes again, so that you'll be able to hear better and better again the voice of the Lord into your life. Hi guys, I'm back now, I'm a little bit tired, but it was really a good experience. And uh, it is 5.04 p.m. It was a long trip, but uh, anyway, it was really nice to live such good moments. Now, let's go back to the studio. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it a lot. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave a comment. I will read it. I also inform you that I am on other platforms and that I have a blog www.ervonangakibo.com When you will subscribe to my blog, you will receive every month a newsletter from me in what I will share, a little bit of my private life and also some updates about my activities. I also invite you to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok and also on SoundCloud. Please support me also on Patreon because 
I have a lot of projects for this YouTube channel and creating content takes a lot of time, but I can't do those things without you. Then please support me. And also I want to inform you that I have a business and personal development YouTube channel and also a science channel. The links are in the description. Thank you very much again and don't forget this. Grow in Christ and achieve His plan for your life. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. God bless you and Amen.